journey with the ribbon retreat. Who doesn't love rickrack? There are just so many fun things you can do with it. Add it to your cute hair bows, a quilt, a scrapbook page, or even embellish your own clothes. Today, Shirley is gonna show you how to make a really cute little rickrack flower. So gather your supplies and let's get crafting. And remember to check out our website for a huge selection of rickrack and tons of colors and sizes. See you next week. Start out with your rickrack felt circle and your needle and thread. My rickrack is 3 fourths an inch and the color magenta. And you can find a huge assortment of colors here at the Ribbon Retreat. And my felt circle is 2 and a quarter inches. And you can see our video description for the link to our circle template and these flowers are beautiful in any size. So what we're going to do first is we're going to stitch the rickrack around the felt circle. So have your needle and thread ready. And then we're going to take the end of our rickrack and our felt circle. And so we're going to be stitching the bottom of the rickrack around the felt circle. And so you're going to want to make sure that the felt isn't peeking through. And so when you line it up, just make sure that it's not on the tippy tippy edge, but far enough down so you won't see that, that felt. And then come up from the bottom. and then stitch it down again. And then onto your next one. So we're just stitching the very bottom edges of the rickrack. And that's kind of how the back will look. You'll have a little bit, a little stitch all over like that. And then when you get to the beginning, you want to start stitching the rickrack onto the inside, going around the felt circle again. And then I like to make it so um, the top goes goes in the middle of your of your top edges. Sometimes that doesn't work out and that's okay. But for the second row, it's pretty easy to do. As you get towards the middle, it gets a little bit more difficult because the rickrack wants to fold in, but that's part of the cute look. So, so I'm gonna end it probably right there. So I'm gonna cut off this part of the rickrack so it's easier to hold. So I'm going to fold this down so it covers up that middle. Just make sure that the end is in the middle because we're going to cover that with a gem or a button, whatever you'd like. So go ahead and just stitch that end piece down a few times and then take a couple stitches in the back. That's how the back will look. done with that part and we just need to add our gem. You can add a button, gem, or resin to your rickrack flower. I'm going to add a 12 millimeter rhinestone to the middle of my flower. And the Ribbon Retreat carries a bunch of different sizes of rhinestones and they're really fun. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue into the center right here so I don't get my finger burnt. Put your embellishment right in the middle. And 
So take your other felt circle and we're gonna cut a tiny slit towards one side. And so to do that, I'm just gonna fold it in half and then use my scissors to just make a little slit like that. And now take your snap clip, open it up, and then slide it through. And then you can close it. And now we're gonna put hot glue on the top of part of this and put it down like that. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And then you can also do this with a headband. You can just sandwich the headband between the two felt circles. And I like to use a snap clip because it has a little better hold than an alligator clip and it will hold it flush to the head. Okay, and then how it will work is you've got your flower and you can just open it, slide it on, close it, and that's all done.